on the mountains a great people and strong, there had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So right here you say you see it says a day of darkness and gloominess. Because the light of this devil is gonna be put out, man. And it's gonna it's gonna be literally dark, and then it's gonna be darkness with understanding. People's understanding are gonna be darkened. Knowledge and wisdom are gonna rest with us. We gonna have the answers. We ain't gonna have it. We have the answers. And y'all don't want it. And when that time come of darkness and gloominess, don't come don't come asking us shit, cause we gonna be fending for ourselves. That's right. That's right. We ain't gonna have time to be sitting there trying to go into the scripture. Yeah, brother MC, uh, Ezekiel 7 and 35. <laughs> we ain't gonna have time for all that, man. Uh. This is the time for that. But you niggas, you knucklehead niggas, I mean all you two-thirds. I ain't just talking about you. You knucklehead niggas don't want this, man. Read that again, going up to dark uh, gloominess. A day of dark, uh, darkness and gloominess. A day of darkness and gloominess, man. It's going to be a day, literally, of, of confusion. Go ahead. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. A day of clouds, thick darkness, man. It's going to be, it's going to be straight chaos out here, man. This place is going to be, man, ground zero for you name it, man. All manner of wickedness is going to be taking place in those days, man. That's why I say we ain't had time to go into scripture with you. We're going to be trying to get somewhere, man, take refuge. Go ahead, all right? As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong, there shall none been, not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Did you hear that? As the morning spread upon the mountains, man. When the morning comes, it's morning everywhere. It ain't just morning one place. I mean, you know, when you, in the, like I say, as the morning spread among the mountains, that mean, man, just like these, read it again, the, the missiles gonna be everywhere, man, because this people is going into these, these ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles. They gonna be on this place, man, like the morning spread on the mountains. Oh, and it's gonna, it's gonna block out the sun, you know? Exactly. You, you, you just visualize it. When those missiles come, the mountain is gonna come, it could be, uh, uh, the sunlight could be beaming, and all of a sudden you're gonna look up, and it's just gonna turn into just pitch black. Bring that out one more time, bro. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, and the, the, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong, there had not ever, there have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So that's the missiles, man, because. Yeah, yeah, come, we're gonna go into it. Cause once these missiles after World War Three, ain't no be no more missiles made. You know, those missiles are made for World War Three. And all of them will be used. That's why I say it, it hadn't been none ever, you know, before and there would never be any after. Go ahead, bro. A fire devoureth before them and behind them a flame burneth. Right. The five before them, that's the, that's the nuclear warheads. Warhead. And the five behind them is the boosters. That what, what makes them intercontinental? They, they, they didn't just magically get from one continent to another. They had the boosters on them that shoots them across the world. In 30 minutes or less, man. And like the brother was going into earlier, man, you know, Russia got themselves, man. They, man, them missiles gonna go off. Man, as soon as they get a command, man, the missiles start hitting this place, man, in less than five minutes. Because Russia can have they, they subs right off the coast of America, which I know they will. That's the whole point of having a submarine. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, go ahead, go ahead, bro. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. Yay, and nothing shall escape them. Woo. Right. So it means 
before the missiles are detonated, you, you got trees and greenery. But then after after they hit, you left with waste, nothing, man. So this is what's coming, man. I can't paint a perfect enough picture, man, to get you people to understand, man. The Most High is nothing to play with. But he's he's gonna make it known. I can't tell you better than he can show you. The Most High gonna he gonna make it plain. Yeah, how will Bob Shimmy Howard Shai is gonna make it plain to you that he's not a power to fuck around with? And these other nations, you know, when it, when it, when this happens, they're gonna have that on TV. You know, in these other in these other countries, that's why they're gonna be wailing and crying, crying as, as pertaining to the prophecies, because they're gonna see that. They're gonna see this place just turn into a wilderness. They're gonna have the probably, exactly. uh, They're gonna have a satellite exactly. bird's eye view of of all of, of Babylon turning into a lake of fire. And they're gonna be crying because they got probably relatives there that was making money for them, sending it back to their countries and all that stuff. And you know that's why Revelation 18 say they should see the smoke of her from far off. Mm. You know they're not gonna come and you know all the nation gonna come to the shores and watch the smoke come. from afar off. They're gonna be, watching gonna be able it on to see TV. it. That's how big it's gonna be. Yeah. But they gonna see it on TV too, you know, from from where they at, or far off. Yeah. They oh. gonna witness it in real time, like the brother say, through the uh, satellites and shit. The second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. But strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shooted are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Right. That's these missiles, man. You can't stress it enough. These missiles are coming to America, man. America's time is up. America has bullied, man, bombed, destroyed, just totally tortured and tormented all the countries around the world. Now it's, now it's America's turn. And when they come, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the fury of Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shot. His fury is on these nations already. They sick of this place. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's part of them. Them, the, Their their anger at this place is a part of the Most High's fury. Because the Most High is going to use them to just set the missiles off and destroy this place. So the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is coming to America. Y'all can keep playing around, which that's already prophesied that y'all gonna be doing that. It's gonna be as in the days of Noah. If you could go and grab that, uh, Luke 7, 32, 17 and 32. Uh, well, uh, go into like Lot, Lot's wife. Yeah, remember on. Lot's wife, get, get there. Uh, so like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 26. Gone. And as it was in the in the days of Noah, that's right. So shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. These times are going to be just like that. These times are going to be exactly like that. People are going to be going about their routine, everyday routine life, man. Running the mill, doing everything they always do. It's going to be weddings going on. People going to be fucking. We got all kind of shit, man. Partying, having birthday parties, uh, bar misfits, all this shit, you know. In the clubs, whatever, man. And then it's going, shit going to hit the fan. All of a sudden. Yeah, what's that? Uh? I say trapping. Niggas gonna be in the, tra <laughs> <laughs> in the trap. In the trap. Trap out the house. Back door. Con. Yeah, yeah, trap out the back all, all that. All that's gonna be going on. Everything that you see going on right now is what's gonna be going on until shit hits the fan. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Read that again. Huh? Yeah, go, go. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of, son of, of the Son of Man. They did eat. They drank. They married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold. Hey, with the chip. Yep, I <laughs> so, You're going to have to have that chip. That's so, right. That's coming oh. soon. I'm looking forward to be implemented next year, man. Because the dollar is at its end. Go. 
niggas don't even know that. The dollar is at its end. You know? They Jake just think, oh, price is going up. That's as far as yeah. Jake go. Man, you know them little fucking chips, man, you used to get all day long yeah. for 25 cents. 25 cents, cent, yeah. Them motherfuckers a dollar now, man. What? <laughs> yeah, some places. Some yeah. places. Yeah. See, they stopped selling canned sodas. Like, unless you get a pack. Yeah, a pack. Yeah. Jake just think, oh, they raising the prices. <laughs> oh, you know, your, your money's being devalued. 25 cents, you know? 50 cents. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Con. Damn. Yep. Because your money is, is, is worthless. And worthless. That's, there's no other way right. to put it. This money is worthless. Just like two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, you worthless. You good for nothing but to be cast out into the drought. Like the scriptures say, what do you do with salt if it lost its savor? It's good for nothing but to be trodden under the foot of men. Cast out into the drought, man. That's what the Most High gonna do with you, man. He gonna let this white man trample you underfoot, and the rest of y'all that's remaining gonna catch these missiles, then you gonna come back in the kingdom with some goddamn sense. Go ahead, Doc. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Yeah, and Lot was bullshit. Lot liked to got destroyed. So you see how the angel had to come back and tell Lot, man, look, get your ass out of here, man. I didn't talk with you. You know, Lot was lollygagging around there, man. Like his wife, man. Cause right. Because his woman. You know it. You know it because of that woman. <laughs> you already know. But, yeah. That the same thing is, is happening now. People going to be eating, drinking, and marrying, and whatnot. Until them floods came, or until they read that again, until that fire started raining. Uh, uh, read it, right? Yeah. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. The same day that Lot went out, man, fire and brimstone started raining. It's just like Noah, when he entered the ark, man, with them, the rain started coming. He entered the ark, it was a wrap. When that fire started coming down, man, this place is going to be a wrap. Well, basically, Esau is going to come in like a flood. Esau is going to be that flood this time. And then that fire is going to be the missiles. That's going to be the end game. Yeah, that's going to be the end game. There's a lot of motherfuckers want to, Alice Jones talk about what's the end game this. <laughs> it's, it's just simple. World War III. Hey, this is the end game. Hey, cause Alex Jones probably gonna make it, so he he, he might as well just uh, prepare to have a, a chain around his He got him a spot. He got him a spot already, so we know he going he going straight. You know, he gonna be uh, cleaning up them dead bo them bodies out there in the land. That's, right, That's the end game, uh, Alex. <laughs> you know. Come. So yeah, that, that pretty much it. You had something else. Well, read on, cause it's got yeah, a little more that I want to. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in his house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. We must remember Lot's wife. I'm going to end it on that. Remember Lot's wife meaning, man, don't be like that bitch. You remember her for one thing, uh, Romans 15 and 4. The things written the fourth time were written for our learning. So you don't be like that bitch because we are who? We are Yahweh Shai's wife. So we can't be looking back. Because Lot, Lot was, was his wife's and his kids' salvation. You know, because the angels came to Lot. So he was their salvation. But what what his wife do? His wife wanted to go against what his her, her husband was saying and, and wanted to go turn back and got destroyed. See, we can't go against our husband, our savior, Yahweh Shai, and, and, and look back. Which oh. basically meaning to go back into the world, look back on that nigga you was. Man, I was, I was the man. I had it going on in the hood, man. I, I, I missed that life, man. I want to go back. 
No, yeah. fuck that. Huh? Yeah, I was shy ain't with that. So we can't look back. Remembering last white. Cause we will be a pillar of salt here with shit. It's gonna be so much fire, man. It ain't gonna be nothing left. But we burn will be destroyed. Yeah, even the salt yeah. gonna be yeah. come. No. And at the same time, don't let your wife turn you away. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with, with that, man, any last words? Well then, man, we say, <coughs> Kyle Halal, Yahweh by Shemi Hawashah, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to our brethren, teaching this word in true faith and sincerity around the world, man. And, uh, you know, you hear something? Don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. What, what you got? Bring it out. No, it's about that word, husband. Yeah, bring it say, bring it say he's a, um, the master, basically just mean the master of, of the house. That's what your house shine is. Uh -huh. Master of this house. A, a planter. Huh. And you go into it uh, further, a husbandman is like a farmer, a, a planter. Huh. Yeah, that's what it's saying right here. Yeah. Read it. Oh, read it. It goes say, old Inga's husbander, yeah. male head of a household, probably from old, old in Hus Bandi, master of the house, from Hus house and Bandi household. Dweller, freeholder, peasant, from Wandi, proper, from where to dwell, the sense of, of a peasant farmer. Preserving husbandry, first attested in the 14th century, and the sense beginning in the late 13th century, replaced old Lincoln Square as married man, companion of a wife. And then it's, it goes back to the word steward. That's yeah, yeah. Oh. and that, that's that's beautiful, man. Because uh, your yeah, husband literally break down hus, go back to house and ban, you know, like when you buying something. Yeah. Literally householder, but you go back. The scripture tell you that we are the Most High's husband, and that he he planted us in this earth, man, for his purpose. You know. So yeah, that's right on time, man. So. With your Howard Shah being our husband, man, we supposed to obey his command. Come on, that's right. We supposed to not be rebellious unto his word and do what he said to do. And he told us to come out on the highways and byways to be faithful unto unto the Heavenly Father and to his word and to basically do this work, man, to do this work. Do this work. I'm just, when I say do the work, I don't just mean coming out here, man. You know, I'm talking about every day of the week, make make doing the work your everyday life. That's right. Not only on when, when you get together with the brothers to, to come out and bring the word out. You know? Doing the work every day, man. Studying, putting shows together, doing lessons, putting lessons together. You know? Edifying the brotherhood. Making this your life, making the lifestyle out of this. With that, man, I'm going to say Shalom.